Okay, this is your uh, review for exam three, which is digestion, it's kidney and respiration. It's going to have 90 multiple guess uh, questions. So make sure you're familiar with allergies. Go through your allergies and how they can take place. Mechanical and chemical digestion. I'd know where they take place and what parts of the digestive tract. What type of digestion takes place in the mouth? What type takes place in the brain? I would know where most of the water is reabsorbed in the digestive tract. I know the difference between bolus and chyme. I would know the different layers of the digestive tract and which layer is involved with peristalsis, which layer is the layer that's involved with most of the absorption of nutrients. And we know that you're not, you are what you eat, but you are what you absorb. Um, in terms of the structure of the teeth and the number of teeth, we went over what percentage should come from animal products, what should percentage should come from fruit and vegetables and grains, those ratios. It also happens to be consistent with acid-base ratio. Um, I'd go over the causes of lip cancer, esophageal cancer, stomach cancer, and pancreatic cancer. They all have something in common. Know the parts of the teeth, cementum, dentin, enamel, and root. I would know the importance of folic acid when you're deficient, what it can create. The different uh, salivary glands that you have, which one is around the masseter muscle, which one under the mandible, which one under the tongue. I would know what's found in saliva, what's there to help neutralize the acidic pH of the stomach. I'd know what's, what Barrett's metaplasia is. I'd know the difference between dyspnea and dysphagia. There'll be a nice matching section on different cells. I'd know chief cells, parietal cells, alpha cells, beta cells of the pancreas, and endochromaffin cells. I would know what they produce. I'd know what a peptic ulcer is. I'd know the difference between a gastric ulcer and duodenal ulcer in terms of when is the pain felt and what relieves it. I'd know the parts of the small intestine, the order of those parts. I'd know the function of the plica circularis. I'd also know the relationship between the duodenum, or the, that part of the small intestine, and the gallbladder. Make sure you're familiar with the hormone that's produced, CCK, and what that does, and how it makes the gallbladder contract, and everything that's pushed out from the gallbladder. I would know the different accessory organs that are involved in neutralizing uh, the pH of the stomach. Go over Crohn's disease, what it is and what part of the uh, digestive tract is most commonly attacked by it. <clears throat> We know how destructive gluten can be to the digestive tract, so people with digestive disorder should remove that from their diet. I know the relationship between B12 and intrinsic factor of the stomach. Uh, gallstones, how they're formed, who they're commonly seen in. Cardiac valve, pyloric valve, and ileocecal valve, a nice matching section on that. Bacteria in the colon. Why is it important to have good bacteria in the colon, what their functions are? What can cause candida overgrowth or yeast overgrowth in the kidney? Parasympathetic neural system, its role in digestion.
I'd know what a hiatal hernia is. I'd know what GERD is. I'd know what dysbiosis is. How important the vagus nerve is due to the fact that it makes up 90% of the parasympathetics and that's important for digestion. Diverticuli. Go over bile. Where is it made? Where is it stored? Go over E. coli 0157. I would go over leaky gut syndrome, also known as intestinal uh, permeability. All the functions of the liver. The importance of fiber in the diet, what it helps us with. Left and right kidney, just its anatomical location. Ureter versus urethra. What is retroperitoneal? The nephron. What shouldn't be found in the filtrate? The difference in structure between efferent, nafferent, arterial. All the hormones that the kidney produces. The loop of Henle in terms of its location. Um, know what if it's in the cortex or in the medulla of the kidney. The functions, main functions of the kidney. There will be a nice matching section on the proximal convoluted tubule, loop of Henle, distal convoluted tubule, and collecting duct. Know where the hormones work and what happens at the different sections. Um, kidney stones and calcium oxalates. I would know which of the following are diuretics. I'd be familiar with the difference between ureter and urethra. We spoke about detox last week, detoxification, um, liver phase one and two, and kidneys, how they're involved with detox, and there's a particular pH that's needed to properly excrete toxins from the body. I go over the loop diuretics. We know that they can deplete the body of certain minerals. I go over the RAS system, R-A-A-S system, the renin, angiotensin, aldosterone system. I go over the turbinates of the nose. I go over the eustachian tube, its location, the flow of tears through the eyes, the bones of the inner ear, the difference between the true and false vocal folds, difference between the right and left primary bronchi, the difference between the right and left lung, the function of the epiglottis, the damage that could be caused from smoking to the trachea, what takes place in the alveoli, type 1 and type 2 septal cells, Muscles of inspiration and muscles of expiration. How the diaphragm contracts. At, does it contract during inspiration or expiration? And where does it relax? I would know what pneumonia is, what asthma is, what emphysema is. You should also be familiar with the structural deviations of the nails. We went over uh, clubbing and spooning of the nails the medulla and its involvement in respiration as well as the pons and the cranial nerve of the ear and that's 90 questions thank you